If you've got the ambition to start your own recruitment agency or build a recruitment business, one of the first things that you're going to want to have in place is a recruitment ATS or CRM that you can use to track all of the data that's important to your business and then also to add all of the different team members to it so that you can start to collaborate as a unit and ultimately share information on the company's jobs and candidates that you're working to support. And at Gig, we're building a free forever recruitment platform that's aimed at supporting solo founders and freelance recruiters by giving you a completely free tool that you can use as much as you need to. So we place no restriction on the amount of candidates, jobs, companies and contacts that you can track. And there's no trial period either. So you can utilize the platform for as long as you need to. And as well as supporting people that are just starting out, the solo and freelance recruiters, we are also thinking about how we can start to build the system to support people that have the ambition of growing a team so that when you do get to that stage that you are ready to start adding people to the business you don't have to change systems and that you can do that with inside a gig start adding people to your account so that like i say you can then start to collaborate and share all of that data and what i'm going to talk to you about in this video is the different team functionalities that we're building so i'm going to show you how you can start to add different team members to the account and then how you can start to share some of the features in there like the different pipelining features and leaving notes on candidates that type of thing but before i do jump into showing you the screen share i also want to quickly highlight like that it's at this point that you are then start to get that you then start to get charged for using the system so when you start to add team members to the platform there is a charge of either $12.75 or $52 per person per month which we think is still pretty cost effective solution compared to some of the other suppliers that are out there so with us if you're starting on your own you can use gigs free forever platform as a solo recruiter for as long as you need to when you're in that position where you are going to start building a team you can add people to the platform for simply $12.75 a month or $52 a month so that you can start to grow your team and you can start paying for the system when the timing is right for you. So first things first, what I'll show you is how you can start to add team members to the platform as you're kind of starting to build your agency. Now, if you come up to the top right hand side, you will see you have the option for team here. And before you add any members to the team, you first have to kind of add and remove any seats to um, be able to then kind of send invites out to potential team members. So you can ramp up with gig, you can ramp up and ramp down as you need to, um, reducing and removing the seats. For this example, I've already got two seats in this account. And so there is one available. So I will add a, a team member to the system. Um, and to do that, you just simply click add team member, put in the team member name, and the email address where you want to send the invite to. So once you've done that and hit save, that team member has been invited and they can now start to work their way through the process of applying to be a team member. So when your team member does go through the invite, I'll quickly show you what it looks like. So first of all, they just click accept invitation and then they will get the invite to join your recruitment company team. So it'll have your team name up there. All they need to do is whack in an email and a password. So once they've put the email and password in, it's gonna ask them to confirm the email address. Once they've confirmed the email by simply clicking the button that you find in the email, uh, you can then start to set up your account by just adding your personal details. So once they've gone through that, they'll then be dropped into the platform where they can then start to kind of run through the different tools. We have a selection of tools included in gig that will teach kind of your team members how to utilize the platform and explain kind of the benefits that they get from the system and all the features that are available in it so once you've kind of gone through the initial tour you actually have the op option to go through all of the other kind of tours around managing candidates jobs companies etc and um, so your team can do that and you can work your way through it so if I now jump back to the main account and go to the Teams page, you'll see that we have a uh, an another team member added to the system and they have initially a type of a user. So owners in the gig platform are the people that set up the account. They can't be removed or deleted from the system, whereas users can be removed if you need to remove them for whatever reason. So to restrict their access and you can also change them to a manager as well. And users and managers have different access in terms of the oversight of the account and then the ability to be able to delete say candidates or contacts or extract any data from the system. So to run you through a couple of the features that are quite useful in terms of collaborating as a team, um, both of the accounts should be fairly similar. So both accounts should have access to the candidate database, um, the different pipelines, the company database and the company pipeline. 
so that you can collaborate on all of this together and the contacts database as well. If I jump into the candidate database, one of the things that can be quite useful when you're sharing the account is that both of you have the ability to be able to leave notes so you can see the difference between notes. So if you're collaborating and working on similar roles, you can leave kind of notes around interview screening or conversations you've had with the candidate and then your colleague is able to come in and see that. Um, in terms of email as well, both of the emails are tracked and visible. So if you are sharing an account with your team member, you have the ability to see the emails that both accounts have sent to candidates. So it will track everybody on the platform that is utilizing the email integration so that you can, again, keep on top of all the email between yourself, your team and the candidates and the contacts that you're working with. In terms of the interview pipelines, if I look at the candidates pipeline to start with, you can see that it highlights which candidates have been kind of added to the board by which individual. And you also have the ability to filter it. So you can come in and just say, I wanna see that person's um, candidates. And I can do the same with this account as well. So again, when you're sharing the board, you can get an overview of um, all the candidates that have been added, and then you can filter it down if you're looking to see candidates added by a specific team member as well. So this is all the, also the same for the interview pipeline as well. Um, in this example, all of the candidates that have been added have been added by um, the same individual. But if you are to add, again, if, if everyone on the team is to add different candidates, this board can be filtered by coming in and clicking and that will then filter down the results just to show you for that individual. So hopefully that's a useful insight in how you start to add your team members to the platform so that you can grow as a team and start to collaborate on the system, as well as some of the features that you can utilize that hopefully are gonna make your life that little bit easier when it comes to sharing data and working on roles together.